This is an experiment. Watch these three short clips and you'll be able to judge the candidates with surprising accuracy based on who they truly are, rather than how others have portrayed them. There's strong science behind this I'll explain at the end. Don't get resentful and try to keep your heart as open as possible, right? You got to compartmentalize a little bit, right? There's, yeah, there's the addict version, but then there's the version that felt they had to do, but celebrating something like that is just bizarre to me. And I, I, I'm much more comfortable with the people who say safe, legal, rare than I am. People who aren't even in the country legally to begin with. So you're probably going to, you know, you'll, you, you know, even if her plan is implemented, which I'm skeptical, but even if it's implemented, your housing price. Still nostalgic. Um, I, I'm the Tom Arsburn, Barry Switzer, Big A, um, where the oranges came down onto the field or whatever. Those classic rivalries, I'm really worried about their partners, whoever it may be, this election, really, their, their lives are at stake. This issue of watching uh, maternal mortality rates skyrocket in states like Texas is simply unacceptable. Things like ambulance deserts, making sure we have ambulances there, and then investing in public education so we don't put the burden on property tax. So I think in rural areas, the farm bill needs to get done, but the rural agenda... This was an experiment. In psychology, Thin slicing is the ability to make accurate judgments about people based on brief observations. Studies have confirmed the accuracy of thin slicing. Political consultants know this, so they frame with precision the clips of their candidates they show you. What if instead you viewed thin slices without the framing using random sampling? If you slice through any set of clips, you get rid of the framing. You actually see the candidates as they are. Those six clips you just watched were chosen exactly that way. They're random thin slices of speech, with none of the bias and manipulation often found in political videos. Thin slicing tells us that, statistically speaking, your assessment of these candidates is now as accurate as it would ever be. Good luck! For anyone still interested, I'd like to walk you through how I pick these clips at random. And let me switch to my real voice to emphasize the difference between carefully crafted messaging and authentic speech. Okay, here's the method. You get three public interviews on YouTube. You choose 10 second clips using a publicly verifiable random number to represent the start of each clip as a percentage of the video duration. I'm using the sense portion of the Dow Jones closing prices over a period of time. Don't worry about providing context. Providing context leaves room to frame any narrative you want. We've had enough of the consultants and the media trying to frame the context for us. We can figure out the context, as you'll see quickly here. Now let's take a look at the spreadsheet that I'm using to do all this. Right now these are random numbers. I'm going to replace those with the, the last two cents of the uh, last uh, few days of the Dow Jones Industrial Price. And I've got that all in a spreadsheet right here. And I'll just paste on top of this. These 56%, 59%, 81%, they correspond to 56 cents, 59, 81, 80, etc. from the Dow Jones Industrial. So we're not doing any tricks here. Now, let's look at our first attempt. Uh, this first video with Katie Hobbs, it's 16 minutes, 17 seconds. And according to the Dow Jones number, we should go 56% into that, which is 9 minutes, 7 seconds. Let's go ahead and take a look at what she said. Specific that you think... You know, and for those who say we will disqualify this one because it was not showing the speaker. She personnel, whatever that is. Is there an, uh, a fault? And we will disqualify this one as well because it is not showing only the speaker. Any video that doesn't show the speaker in its entirety for 10 seconds, we're disqualifying. Jobs. Um, because, you know, at the same time that we're experiencing this a tremendous economic growth, people are still struggling. Even those employed people uh, who can't afford housing, who are being pinched. Are okay. So there's our first 10 second, full 10 second clip. Now let's do one from Kerry Lake. What you mean by sending the National Guard? We will disqualify that one. Doesn't show Kerry Lake entire, in its entirety. You know, we've taken plans to some of these cities for affordable housing. Lay it out and we said, we can build this for you and get a whole bunch of affordable housing. And some of the cities will come back and say, well. Okay, so there's our 10 segment clip. 
And that's our methodology. Let's just go through the rest now. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for other candidates, please leave them in the comments below.